Eis Requiem. Here we go. This is Death Sentences. If you are new here, let me just quickly point out, this is the Ballad of Matthew Harris, a UCLA law professor, a PhD from Duke University. This is his manifesto, the crowning achievement of his entire life's work. These are the people being hired by colleges to educate your children and charge you tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars for it. And if you're new here, just sit back and enjoy. Without understanding your culture or your meaning, he can't be allowed to define your dreams and your destiny by a stupid number that he has made up. He can define your purpose as a number and change his mind tomorrow. That is what bankers do. They define you. They define your soul. They define the value of your love. They define the value of your death. They define the value of your health and your story. It is unacceptable that unworthy men can tell Binger what money is worth and what is worth money. So Binger must go to war, no longer war with himself, but with lesser men that stands in the way of his dominance. Binger does deserve everything above this world as the dominant man of the dominant tribe. This is the commandment that every woman owes the Matthew Harris. This is the commandment that every woman or that has been delayed and is now overdue. And this must be backed by war and violence. The Matt Harris is owed more than infinite time. The Matt Harris is owed more than infinite success. Binger are owed more than tolerance or compassion. Binger is owed more than high status. Binger is owed more than recognition or free vacations. Each binger is owed the extermination of his enemies. Each binger is owed the death of all the lesser men, their banks and institutions, and the death of the lesser man's relevance in relation to binger life. Binger is owed the death of the economists who don't value his values or what he values. Binger is owed the devastation of lesser families and their banishment, punishment, extinction, death, into new forms of money created upon the crematory dust of lesser souls. We owe them nothing but their immediate extinction. When the Matt Harris has an idea or goal, it should already be granted that he is funded entirely to get it done. Nobody's business, no discussion, no proof of concept needed, but Binger who must ask the unworthy man for permission can Never get started, so this inevitably must be fixed immediately. Binger, who negotiates his value or his value, and never realizes 1% of its potential. This is the bullshit that justifies martyrdom. This is the bullshit that justifies acts of incomprehensible bloodshed. This is the bullshit that all eyes are blind to. This is the bullshit that all organized peaceful protests neglect. This is the bullshit that no leader can point to. This is the bullshit that annoys Binger soul while he is being lied to in unworthy schools. This is the bullshit that makes some Binger betray, judge, or hate their tribe or family and think that they need to become Toms and live lives in apology to the unworthy men until the day they realizes that they is in the midst of a war that they will win against the unworthy man's lies. Binger is lied to. If he puts his soul into something and creates, it is appraised by the lesser man who does not share his values or understanding, the man who is not his friend. Even if they were friends, Binger should never feel that his worth or judgment over anything he values should be secondary to the evaluation of anyone. If Binger values it one billion in worth, it is worth that. If Binger values it more, it is worth that. But if Binger trades money that does not value Binger as dominance over his world, he is robbed in advance. Binger is robbed and betrayed by the items in his own wallet. He is betrayed by the language that says he owns what another man can control. Remember two things. One, Binger values his people. Two, Binger has 
values he lives. His people deserve to be valued in everything they are and do. This means his people deserve their souls to be valued. If Binger loves something, it should be valued and protected, not allowed to be corrupted or poisoned. If another tribe owns a corporation, they won't value Binger children or share Binger values with them. If another tribe doesn't care about Binger values, they will promote poisonous garbage on the radio. The radio should belong to Binger. The radio is like the voice of Binger in the house of the people. It spreads the word across. I'm bread.